Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Angie B here, and today's video is going to be how to make an intro or a simple aesthetic show intro. So, without further ado, let's just get into the video. This was me saving time to say all of this, but yeah, let's get into the video. So, we're gonna open up PixArt. Oh my god, these tickets need to stop. Alright, so we're going to go to pitch art. We're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to import a background. See, I already had the background saved. So if you want to find a background, just go to the We Hearted app or Safari. So now I'm going to crop it down to 16 by 9 or YouTube says. YouTube says and 16 by 9 is the same thing. So now I'm going to go on sticker and I'm going to search for watercolor pink. And I'm just going to save that and import it. Okay, so here were the different choices of watercolors, but none of these were really catching my eye, so I just put in watercolor pink. And I was thinking about using the one up in the left-hand corner after the heart, but I changed my mind and I used a different one. So once you find the watercolor, all you have to do is just shut up. It's just import it and size it up to where you want it to be. I had a lot of trouble sizing because I wanted it to be inside of the square, but it wasn't in the square. So we were just okay my soul, so I didn't know what to do. So that was that, and now I'm going to look for Instagram logo. I went through so many of these, ain't even funny. But instead, I just ended up using a regular one and imported a regular one. I changed my mind because that one was too bright, so. So, when you find the right Instagram logo, you're going to put your Instagram name and you're going to do the same thing for the Snapchat logo. So that was the one that I ended up using and then I just go to text and I imported my Instagram name which was x underscore shut up x underscore live that darky so if you want to follow me on the Instagram it will be right there on the screen. Oh and guys I am still having my YouTube giveaway that link will be posted in the description of this video so if you want to figure out how to enter my giveaway it's going to be in the description okay so i'm finding the right font and the right color for my name at first i wanted this one but the underscore wasn't there so i wanted a cursive writing but not people would have understand cause of that easily, so I kept it with a simple cause. But once you find the right font and the right color, you just do the same thing for Snapchat. You go to sticker, you import the Snapchat emoji. How much Snapchat emoji now? You import the Snapchat logo and then you import your Snapchat name. And once you find find that, um you head on to the next step. So my screen recording in turn did stop, so I had to do this over. So I'm just going to add some background music in this because this is taking too long. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so basically when you save the picture from Pixar, you're going to open the app Fonto and you're going to click Photo Albums and you're going to import the photo you just saved from Pixar. Then on the font, whichever font you chose, I chose Lambrija, but I had to download it from thefonts.com. If you want to know how to download fonts to your Fonto, I would just shouldn't, I would just do a video on that. So basically, uh, here I am choosing my Lambrija font, and this is basically how it looks. You could pick any font you want, but I just wanted this, and I wanted the color black, and I just wanted everything to fit together. So that's what I did here. You don't have to follow my exact steps. You just, you just feel free to do whatever you want to do. I did this because I wanted to. Okay guys, so now once that's done, we're going to open iMovie, and I really hope you can't hear the crickets in the background, but I really hope you can't. But anyway, I just imported the video, I imported the blank screen, and I imported the one with my text on it. Okay, so this is what it looked like. I in turn changed it to slide, but that was not the correct, um, that was not the correct transition. The correct transition was a wipe, and in order to slow this down, you just have to save it, and then you just have to save it, and then basically open a new project in iMovie, and then press the timer, and then just set it back a few minutes. So yeah, that's all I did. A few seconds I was supposed to see. Just set it back a few seconds and then once you feel like you comfortable enough with how it looks, basically that's all you do. You just save it and then that's about it. Until, well, unless you want to add the next part. If that's all you want for your intro, well then you are done. But if you want to add a subscribe at the ending, then keep watching for the next part. baby so bam now you open video leap and i already had a pre-recorded subscribe going on but i think i delete that scene because it legit took out all my butterflies and everything else and i masked it out and it really wasn't showing up to what it was supposed to be so i had to screen record another one which i did and these were all pre-recorded to these recordings just, just in case, just in case you were wondering, I pre-recorded these before this clip. So, I'm just going to see now what I did there was wrong. I had to add the blank photo, which was the one I did the watermark on, the blankest one, which was that. And then I had to put my green screen over it because the, gr the green screen chroma wouldn't work unless it has something to go over it so that happened and 
yes, this was the part where I delete the scene and added the other one, the other subscribe button, which I did, and it's just basically a butterfly with a uh, subscribe broken down. So I just slid it down to what time it should have been on, and then I press chroma, and then I press picker, and then. You go to intensity and then you turn it all the way up or all the way down. You can see on the screen. I think it's all the way up though. So you can lighten the the greenness on the screen. Dog, I cannot talk for nothing. But yeah, you could just lighten that. And basically that's all that I did for this intro. Very simple steps. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not following my socials, they will be down in the description box below. Please make sure you enter my giveaway to win a few, a free YouTube intro, YouTube outro, YouTube channel banner, and a free collab with me. Well, for a chance to win all of this stuff. Enter the giveaway. The instructions will be linked in the description box below. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we out.